Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in our studies of Bitochen, and Fridays has become a message of Bitochen from the Parsha. So I'd like to focus on something that happens towards the end. After the amazing Shidduch of Rivka and Yitzchak is made, which is filled with the moon and Bitochen, we could speak about it for years on end, the details that go into that story of how this magnificent Shidduch, the wed of Yitzchak and Rivka is designed by HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The plan is spoken out by Eliezer, Evan Avraham, and Hashem orchestrates every single detail to make it as it is. But after Rivka agrees to the Shidduch, she is taken by Eliezer to go and meet Yitzchak for the first time. And it says that as they are coming to the field, Vayetzeh Yitzchak lasuach vasadeh, and Yitzchak went out into the field lasuach, he went out to speak, to have a, con- a conversation. Lift nois arif before the evening, vayisa inov, he lifted his eyes, viyar, and he saw vihine gamalim bayim, camels were coming. Then Rivka opens her eyes and she sees Yitzchak, she sees the, vis- the visage of this great and this holy man, vatipomel gamal, she falls off, basically she, she lowers herself from the camel in, in awe. She's awestruck by the vision over here of Yitzchak Avinu. Rashi writes over here, what was Yitzchak's conversation that he was having in the field? Yitzchak went out to the field before evening time and he was talking, he was conversing. Says Rashi, Lashon Tfila, the language of, of Lasuach is a language that is indicative of Tfila, of prayer. Kamo, like it says in Tehillim, Yishbaich Sichai, he will pour out his siach, his prayer, which is his conversation. It is, a mag- is an amazing language that the Torah is using over here to describe prayer. And that is that because a person's amun is so strong, and because that they are by teach, that there is a ribayin shaylam, and they know that HaKadosh Baruch is here, and they know that HaKadosh Baruch is listening to them, and that HaKadosh Baruch can do anything that he wants. It doesn't have to be tefillah prayer where a person is screaming his head off. It doesn't have to be prayer where a person is rocking back and forth with tremendous intensity, where it looks like they're going to end up banging their head into the table, chas v'chalila. It doesn't mean that a person even has to cry from the bottom of his heart in order to be able to get what he wants from Hashem. Rather, a person that has a moon and bitachin and the ribayin shaylam and they know that HaKadosh Baruch listens to anything, it's a sicha, it's a conversation. As two friends sit and they speak with each other and they can share the deepest of secrets with one another, a husband and a wife who will sit up sometimes to the wee hours of the morning discussing discussing their life, their shalom bayis, their panasa, of course their children and their chinuch habanim, and raising a family and the like, and they will sit with each other in close proximity, and the voice will be a whisper almost, but it will be the deepest, most meaningful of conversations that any two people can have. Says the Torah over here, Vayetze Yitzchak lasuach basade. Yitzchak went out to daven to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It was a sicha, it was a conversation. It was the most gentle, but yet the deepest of words that Yitzchak could convey to the Rebbein Nesha'ilam, the master of the world. With his amun and his bitachin intact, trusting in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, knowing that he could rely upon everything, perhaps he was davening that the mission of Eliezer should be successful. Perhaps he was davening that he should hold on to all of the Torah of his father, Avram. Perhaps he was davening that these great levels that he achieved through Akedas Yitzchak, they should be solidified in his heart and his soul for all of his life and for all of the generations of Klal Yisrael. Or perhaps that he was just davening and thanking HaKadosh Baruch Hu for all the chesed, for all the goodness that he has. And whatever his tefillah was, that the Torah does not reveal to us, but whatever it was, it was in the nature of a sicha, of a conversation. Like two friends that are sitting and talking to each other. Like a husband and a wife who are sharing the deepest emotions and the feelings and the dreams and the passions and desires that are inside of them. This is the way a person speaks to Hashem. They speak to Hashem calmly, peacefully. 
knowing with all of their heart and all of their soul, with pure amun and bitachin, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is listening to every word that we say. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Shabbos is a wonderful day of tefillah, of prayer, to express our tremendous gratitude to the Rebbeinu Shailam, to speak to Hashem, to see HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to strengthen our Amunah Bitochen. And in that Zechus, in Yitz Hashem, as we continue with the Sicha, with the conversations of prayer to Hashem, He'll hear more and more of what we have to say, and we will see in our lives more of our tefillahs being answered. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shabbos.